Like it feels like you went to the spa, shed an entire layer of skin and got a new face. It's the closest thing that I've gotten to a skin transplant because I want one of those. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, it's time. It's literally time. My favorite time of the year. Well, one of them. It is finally time for the Sephora sale. Whew, I have a list for y'all. <laughs> if you guys are ready for all my recommendations and all the info about the sale and what I think you should buy, then please keep watching. So first I have to give a huge shout out to Magic Links for partnering with me on this video. Magic Links is a website and service that I use to link products. When you guys click the links and shop, I do make commission. This is at no additional cost to you, but it is a nice thank you to me or any creator whose link that you use that helps support their channel. So thank you to Magic Links for working with me on this video. I'm excited. I'm so excited. So the Sephora sale is starting at the end of this month. The first day is today, October 28th, and it runs until November 6th, I believe. But I will put all the information across the screen. I've literally been waiting for this sale and building my cart. We're not gonna talk about how much my cart totals, but I've been building this cart since my birthday in June. If you guys didn't know, I used to be like a shopaholic every week if I had leftover money, I would spend it at Sephora. Then I was working there and you know, I had a problem. So now because I don't shop anymore, I'm a former shopaholic, at least with beauty. Um, I only shop when it's my birthday, a holiday, or the Sephora sale. This is the best time to save the maximum amount at Sephora. So how the sale works is you get to shop based on the tier system of Beauty Insider. Beauty Insiders get 10% off during this period and they have specific dates. Your VIBs get 15% off during specific days and VIB Rouge, which I am in that group, we get 20% off for specific days. So now is the time to save on these pricier items that never go on sale. And let's face it, it is very easy to run up a check at Sephora. Definitely get your savings in. So let's get into all my recommendations. So how I like to shop the sale is I make categories. There are my staple items, then I have skincare, makeup, and fragrance. So let's start with staple items. And I'm just going to quickly flash these across the screen while I speak about them. But I will of course have every product linked down below. That was a great time to restock on staples. So for me, that would be my Josie Marin Pore Clearing Clean cleanser that actually smells like pineapple now, so I will be getting that. It's a great time for me to restock on my serums, whether it's the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair or the Clarins Total Serum, no, Double Serum. It's a great time for me to restock on niacinamide, vitamin C, my favorite belief moisturizer, the Aqua Bomb that I've been using for literally probably almost a decade, a great time to get all the Charlotte Tilbury products that I love. The setting spray, my magic cream, the magic night cream if you use that, the elixir serum. Oh my goodness, Charlotte Tilbury is really, really pricey, so now's a great time to stock up on everything you need and get those savings in. Because if there's one thing you guys know from watching my channel, I like to blow a bag, but I love a good deal even more. So I'm definitely gonna be picking up some of those. Also the Josie Mayer Intensive Hydrating Body Butter. I love that for my eczema prone skin. Oh, the Shiseido Facial Cotton, so, so good. The Facial Radiance Pads by First Aid Beauty. That's a great, great exfoliating product. Everything like that, all my top faves, even my favorite mascara since it discontinued Bite Beauty, which would be the Lancome Monster Big. Now is a great time to stock up. Another thing is that gift sets are out for the holiday season. And a lot of times, be sure to check and see if the brands of products you're already gonna buy have the product in a gift set. Sometimes you can spend a little extra and get so much more for your money whether it's a bigger size jar or additional products so not only is it a great time to stock up maybe get some things for yourself but it's a great time to start holiday shopping and i'll be doing some of that also 
Okay, so let's start with skincare. My recommendations are basically gonna be products that I've recently discovered, things that other people in my life have made me hip to, brand new products, and things that I just think would make great buys during a time when you can save the maximum amount of money. First, we have the Kiehl's Rare Earth Pore Cleanser. Oh my goodness. So this past weekend, I did a staycation for a friend's birthday, and Kendra has this product, and we love a lot of the same skincare, so like she brought the things that she likes that I use and I brought the things that I like that she used and she wanted me to try this cleanser. And the weird thing is, I have so many samples of this Kiehl's product. It makes your skin feel so nice. This will be a great double cleanse if you wear makeup like myself and you want something to really get into your pores, exfoliate, really strip and rid your face of all impurities, dirt, oil, and grime. That product is so amazing. Kiehl's is a little pricey, not too pricey, but now's a great time to stock up on expensive cleansers because I don't like spending more than $30 on a cleanser. You're just gonna wash it off, girl. <laughs> Next skincare product is the Way Scalp Serum. Kendra also put me on this. Now, I don't know if I would try this per se because we have a different hair texture, but she said that it helps to alleviate dryness of your scalp, a dry and itchy scalp. <laughs> a dry and itchy scalp, and it also helps to thicken your hair. So if you deal with hair thinning or you want like an invigorated scalp experience, definitely check out the Way Scalp Serum and the Way Hair Care products overall. I do wanna try their detox shampoo. I don't wanna add anything to my list, so we're gonna have to revisit that. But now's a great time to get those pricey hair care items. Next recommendation is the Dr. Dennis Gross Daily Universal Peel Pads, and I used one today. If y'all been following me on any of my platforms, you know that I am obsessed with the Dr. Dennis Gross peel pads. You have your daily universal and your extra strength. I like them both, but if you have normal skin, I would go with the daily. And if you have acne prone or oily skin, I would go with the extra strength. This is the best peel, chemical and manual that you can use at home. It is expensive. Yes, it is. But that's why you should get it during the sale. It works so well. It makes your skin feel brand new. Like it feels like you went to the spa, shed an entire layer of skin and got a new face. It's the closest thing that I've gotten to a skin transplant because I want one of those. And honestly, I've seen a huge reduction in the amount of scarring on my face and hyperpigmentation. I am sold. They're amazing. Also, I'm gonna recommend the Necessaire Body Wash. They actually have it in a sandalwood variety that I want to try. Now, usually I have a 10% off code with Necessaire, but now you can save up to 20%. So, I know a lot of us love the Necessaire Body Wash. Now is a great time to stock up. My favorite is Eucalyptus, but I feel like sandalwood would be perfect for the fall and winter. And speaking of hair products, now is a great time to get your hair tools. I will be getting a new flat iron. I will share which one when I do my haul, but I, y'all know I like a deal. Hair tools are very expensive, especially high quality ones. So I will be getting a new flat iron. Now is a great time to get flat irons, blow dryers, curling irons, anything like that. So you can really get your savings. Two brands that I would recommend are GHD and T3. I've heard nothing but great things from both. My current GHD classic flat iron is like 15 years old. I'll just leave that there. <laughs> also the IGK first class charcoal detox dry shampoo. Huh. I purchased that last Sephora sale and it is so amazing. It is like the Rolls Royce of dry shampoos. I never thought that anything could be better than living proof but this one is so much better. But it's so powerful that if you use too much, your hair will become like stuck together. So my perfect way to use it is to spray it in a paddle brush and then spray it through your hair. But that works so well. The charcoal helps to just soak up excess oil. Top notch. She's top notch. I love it. So La Mer also has a moisture radiance collection and y'all know that La Mer is very pricey so if you would love to gift some luxury skincare to someone or if you want to try it for yourself now is the perfect time. I kind of feel like I am not at the age to justify a four or three hundred dollar facial cream. I'm just not there yet. I'm not against it. 
it's just not for me right now. But now's a great time to try those pricier products that you've been eyeing or maybe just gift yourself something luxurious and get those savings in. And I think that's a great gift set. Another product that I love is the Skin Fix Glycolic Renewing Scrub. And I love this scrub so much. It's currently my favorite because it's a smooth cream. So it's hydrating, but it has glycolic acid in it and it also has exfoliating beads. So you get your manual and chemical exfoliation. Huh. So basically you rub it onto dry skin. I would do it in the shower because it can kind of fly everywhere. Then you introduce water into your skin and massage it into your skin. Your arms, legs, wherever will be left so, so smooth and hydrated. I love that. That is probably my favorite product from Skin Fix. And if I didn't have almost a full bottle, I'll be picking her up. The next product I'm gonna recommend is the L'Occitane Amand Shower Oil. Now I have two backup bottles, so I'm not getting this, but if you love that L'Occitane Amand Shower Oil, now is the perfect time to get restocked. That is my favorite luxury body wash ever. The scent, the feel, everything. It's so cushiony. It doesn't perform like an oil, but it is hydrating. I love that stuff. It's very expensive. So now is a great time and sometimes they even have gift sets and if I can find one, I'll link that down below. The next item is the Clarins Double Serum which I spoke about earlier. I probably should buy one but I'm trying not to spend a thousand dollars but this is my favorite all-in-one anti-aging serum for the cooler months. It helps protect against fine lines, wrinkles, dark spots. It helps your radiance. It makes your skin juicy like if you want your skin to be juicy, you need to try the Clarence Double Serum. I always thought it was a brand for old women. But shout out to my girl Roya because she taught me otherwise and that serum, whew, it's perfection. Another product I would recommend is the Necessaire Gel Deodorant. I actually reviewed this product and did a comparison video because it works well for me in the fall and winter. But when it's hot, it doesn't work. It's a natural deodorant that's a gel formulation and I love it so much. They do have it in unscented and eucalyptus. If you're looking for an effective natural deodorant, that one is great. Just know that if it's too warm where you live, you will have like a swampy underarm feeling. But if you live in a cool climate during these months, then it's perfect. <laughs> Okay, and the last skincare product that I'm gonna recommend is my favorite makeup cleansing balm. I no longer use makeup cleansing wipes. I just don't feel like they're great for your face. They introduce a lot of tugging to the delicate skin around your eyes and your face in general. They're also not great for the environment. So I use a cleansing balm and shout out to you beauties because you put me on years ago or maybe a year, I'm not sure, but you put me on to the Pharmacy Green Clean Cleansing Balm. That's a great product to try. Of course you can buy it in the singular bottle, but they also have a trio for the holiday season. My favorite cleansing balm. The texture doesn't feel like lard. It's a very soft, smooth, easily to break down texture. I really, really like it. That's a great product to try during the Sephora sale also. Okay, let's move on to makeup. First, I'm gonna start with GXVE. Now, I'm not sure if it's pronounced GXVE or GIVE, but this is Gwen Stefani's makeup line, and let me tell you, I'm obsessed with her lipsticks. I have a liquid lipstick, a vinyl lipstick, a regular matte lipstick, and I bought another one recently. Her lipsticks are so amazing. The color opacity, whew, I love a good opaque lipstick. Like, I don't wanna see my lips at all. So I love her lipstick so much and now is a great time to pick them up. The packaging is also so fun and she makes my favorite red ever. Her original recipe red is everything. Another makeup item I'm gonna recommend is the new Lady Gaga foundation that everyone's talking about. My girl Brown Girl Lux actually purchased it a little while ago and she sent me a video and she looked perfect. I mean, Brown Girl Lux is gorgeous. She always looks amazing, but I do believe she has like combination skin. Her face looks flawless after running around for hours, like doing things out and about. She looked so freshly made. Like, oh my goodness, if I didn't just once again purchase foundation, I would be trying that one. I don't know if it is for oily skin, but now since we're getting into the cooler months, I would say anybody can try that one. It looks amazing on her. I'll link her channel down below. So I'm gonna recommend it just based off seeing brown girl looks. <laughs> also, Lady Gaga's highlighter, I believe the shade that I kind of want is called Raw Amber. First of all, I love that Lady Gaga, even being a fair-skinned woman, has a makeup line with shades 
shades that are so extensive and inclusive. The shade Raw Amber is a deeper highlight shade. It's like bronzy and just whew. I'm not really into highlighter, but for some reason, when new products come out, I feel like I need them. So if you're in the market for a new highlighter, I would say check out Lady Gaga's makeup line. Fenty Gloss also has a gloss posse set, and this is a set of three lip glosses. I actually really like Fenty glosses. Uh, they're really, really pretty on the lips. They are a bit sticky, but not too sticky. I find that even though I don't like a sticky lip gloss, that helps the gloss stay, and that one is really beautiful. It's a three-piece set. You can give it as a gift. You can keep it for yourself. It's a great deal. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm talking too much. And it's a great time to get those savings in. We love it. Ooh, I've been talking too much. This is what I'm talking about. I love talking, y'all. Dior recently came out with a transfer proof lipstick and I think it's gone viral online, probably from TikTok. I saw it in an Instagram reel. You literally put it on, you can kiss your hand, your jean, your forehead, your leg, it will not move. So I'm getting that. I think I'm gonna get it in a really dark shade, but it looks so beautiful. If you love a good matte lipstick that doesn't move, if you wanna eat greasy foods, kiss your man or woman, if you wanna do all the things, all the things, it's gonna stay. We love that. So check that lipstick out if you're in the market for a new lipstick like I am. I always get like two to three lipsticks every Sephora sale because I'm a lipstick whore. Charlotte Tilbury also has a new blush and highlight palette and there is one for medium dark skin that would work for those of us who are similar to my skin tone and it looks so beautiful. What I love about Charlotte Tilbury is that before I got into her products, I didn't think they were made for darker skin tones, but they look amazing. You just have to get the tones that are suited for us. So if you're fair, get the light to medium, but if you have a more deeper olive dark skin tone, get the darker palette, but the good girl Charlotte, I call her the good girl for a reason. She makes you glow, and I know that this palette is gonna make you glow, so I might have to pick that up also. And speaking of Charlotte Tilbury, her setting spray is everything. I have probably this much left of my current one, and I'm not sure why I love it so much, but it just melts my makeup into my face. It doesn't make me look dry though. It's not a mattifying spray. It locks my makeup in place. I have never used a setting spray before that I like, but that one's perfection. So I think I do have a backup, but if I don't, I'll be purchasing that because it is amazing. Another product that I want to recommend is the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in Faith. Oh, this is a really beautiful purple shade. I love a purple blush in the fall and winter. I think it looks really nice, specifically on deeper skin tones. I hear a lot of beauties rave about the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. I wanted to get one in the summertime, but I'm like, girl, you have too much blush. And they're all this color. By the way, this is a Valentino blush that looks so beautiful. But back to Rare Beauty. If you would like <laughs> to try liquid blushes, definitely check out the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. I think I need to get Faith. Okay, let me add that to my list. Let me put a little asterisk by it. Need. <laughs> and the last item on my list, of course, is the Lancome Monster Big Mascara. I'm wearing lashes right now. Shout out to Java Lashes. I will link them down below. But Monster Big Mascara by Lancome is my favorite. I used to like the Bite Beauty, but they went out of business. God rest their business soul. So I'm back on my long comb and it just makes my lashes so big and volumized and I have very short lashes. But the long comb monster big mascara is perfection. Okay, and our last category is going to be fragrance. <laughs> Y'all know that I love some fragrance and I am purchasing a fragrance when I make my order, which I was probably up at in real time, like 12 a.m. making it. So I always say that this is the best time to get the Sephora fragrance samplers. And why that is so great is it's basically a pack that comes with maybe six to eight sample vials. You can try them out and it also comes with a scent certificate. After you try out all the vials, you determine which scent you like best. You take that certificate to Sephora and you exchange it for a full size fragrance. So if you find there is a fragrance that you like, check and see if it is in the sampler for men or women because the set is usually a little cheaper than all the fragrances on their own, but then you save up to 20%. Do you see where I'm going with this? It's savings. 
It's savings. I love it. So I'm actually getting these for a friend for her birthday. Well, I'm getting one of these for a friend, but they make the samplers for him and her. It's a great time to introduce fragrance to someone who wants to get into the wonderful world of smell goods. But also if you want to try out a bunch of fragrances and you already know what you're going to pick, just try it out. Like. You can't beat it. It's such a great gift idea. Okay, another scent that I'm gonna recommend is the new Jador from Dior, like, oh something. It's the White Mist. Now here's what I'm gonna say. It doesn't last and it sprays white. Very, very weird. But if you love a classically chic white floral fragrance, Oh, you're gonna melt. If I were to get this scent, it would be to wear to bed because it's just so light and my body chemistry, she doesn't mix well with stuff like that, but wearing to bed, or I just picture myself wearing this like the morning of my honeymoon, like am I manifesting getting married? I don't know, but I see myself wearing that, wearing all white lingerie. I don't know, it's just a beautiful skin scent. Um, yeah, it just doesn't last long, but now's a good time to get your savings on. So buy the fragrance. <laughs> the next scent I'm gonna recommend is Burberry Her Elixir. Oh, I went to smell this in real time when y'all are watching this probably like a little over a month ago. It does smell very, very, very similar to the original Burberry Her Eau de Parfum, but it's creamier and sweeter, less musky. So I think when I use up my traditional Burberry Her in like a decade, cause it takes me forever, I'm going to purchase the Elixir. If you know someone who loves strawberry, vanilla, and creamy sweet scents, get this for them. It's a nice creamy sweet scent without smelling juvenile. And off of first scent, I couldn't distinguish between it and Burberry Her. But after really sitting with the fragrance, I do see a difference. I don't think you need both. They're too similar for that. But if you're running out of your original, get the Elixir. The bottle is also prettier in my opinion. So shout out to Burberry Her Elixir. Now's a great time to buy that and she will probably sell out. Another scent that I really like, which a lot of ladies on YouTube are not feeling, is the Victor and Roth Good For it kind of reminds me of a grape licorice scent. Very unique. Definitely not like any of the other Victor and Roth scents for her, but I love it. It's very whimsical and interesting. It's a very fashion forward scent. It almost puts me in the mind of Moogler's Angel, but not as deep just in terms of the complexity and being so different, but still so beautiful. Now, a lot of the girlies are not feeling it, so don't blind buy it, but I love it. <laughs> if I had space for more fragrance, if I had my curio cabinet, I'd be getting it. The last proper fragrance is the YSL Libre Le Parfum. Now, I also smelled this almost two months ago, probably. This smells exactly like the YSL Libre Intense to me. I smell no difference. Now, it might perform differently on the skin, it might wear differently on the skin, and it also might smell differently. But on test paper, it's hard for me to distinguish which is which. So if you're looking for a YSL Lieb flanker that's a little more intense, I would say go with the Lieb Le Parfum. I love it. I also love my intense. It's sexy and sweet, and she loves those vibes for fall and winter. So I would definitely recommend that. Okay, and the last two for fragrances I'm gonna recommend are hair mist. I love these because I love to smoke cigars. And when you smoke a cigar, especially when you're in a lounge or a bar, your hair gets smoky. And I like smelling very feminine. And I don't want you to know what I was doing last night just because you smell my hair. So I love a good hair mist. Now's a good time to save on them. I have a few in my collection, but I would like to get the Miss Dior hair mist because that smells so beautiful, so chic and pretty. And then Dior Jador has one. Now this is not not the flanker, the white liquid one. It's the traditional one. And Jador Dior smells a lot like Astor Place by Bond, which is my favorite birthday scent. So I might need to get that as well. Yeah. So guys, that's all I have to share with you for my recommendations for the Sephora sale. I am so excited. Like I said, by this point, hopefully I've placed my one and only order. I'm really going to try, but I love this time of year. It's the most wonderful time of year for us beauty enthusiasts. I know not everyone will want to shop the sale. I'm sure there will be other sales going on, but I get to save 20%. So I'm hitting checkout for sure. Let me know what are some things that you guys think that I may need, like I'm not trying to build another cart, 
but I am an influencer that gets influenced as well. So let me know what I need. Also, let me know down below what you guys are getting in the sale. I love you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one and happy shopping. Bye guys.